Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so, so much for being here. I had quite a few requests to do a makeup tutorial, which kind of freaked me out because I'm not a makeup artist, but I do love makeup. I love trying new products. I love figuring out what works for me, what works for other people. So I just decided to start out with a kind of full coverage foundation look. I decided to focus on the face today. I didn't want to do like any crazy eyeshadow or anything. So if you're curious as to how I got this look, just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by hydrating my skin with the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. Just going to shake it up and spray it. I love using this before I do my makeup because I feel like it really hydrates my skin and I just like the way it feels, honestly. <laughs> I'm also going to use the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair under my eyes because my under eye area is really, really dry. And if I don't do some kind of hydration under there, they will just look a dry, crackly mess. So I'm just gonna take that down on my forehead. This stuff is great for using at night as well. Obviously it says advanced night repair, but I like using it before my makeup as well. I'm also going to use the Estee Lauder Resilience Lift. This has SPF 15 in it, which isn't very much, but it's a really good moisturizer. And if I'm not gonna be like in direct sunlight all day, then I feel like it's enough. I just like using this because I feel like it gives me a really nice base for my makeup. Anytime I use this product and then do my makeup, I just feel like it looks so much nicer. Like product lays on it much nicer. Looking a little shiny. Moving right along, I do have some pore issues. So I'm going to use the Benefit Professional in my T-zone area. This is mainly the spot that I struggle with pores. And I just take it down my forehead, my nose, and my chin. And I'm just going to rub that in as well. I'm going to kind of cover up some spots on my face. I've got some acne scarring and some like pimples that are just kind of healing up still. So they're kind of scabbed and red. So I like using the Dermacol, what is this called? Film Studio. I have no idea how to say those words, but it's just like a really full coverage foundation. I don't like using this all over my face. It's like really, really kind of cakey. And I'm going to spot conceal with it. I'm just rubbing it all over my problem areas. This packaging is like falling apart, by the way. It's like the worst packaging ever. I have like foundation <laughs> squirting out the sides of it. So that's good. Before I put on my foundation, I am going to conceal under my eyes because these bags. They're real. They're not cute. I'm using the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. It's got like a salmon-y kind of pink color just to color correct those blue hues underneath my eyes. Just really helps brighten up that area. I'm going to blend that underneath my eyes. I'm looking very bright and pink. <laughs> Okay, moving on to foundation. I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I used this foundation on my wedding day, so it's very special in that sense to me. It's a really great full coverage foundation. It lasts a long time on your face. I remember the end of the night of my wedding and my face still looked really flawless. So this has just been like a diehard product for me. I love it so much. Um, just for a little bit more coverage though, I did take a little bit on the back of my hand like so, and I'm going to mix in some of the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops. Shake it up real nicely. And I just drop three or four drops into that foundation, like so. Let's do four. And this is just pure pigment, so what it does is it makes your foundation even more full coverage. So sometimes I'll use it um, with a foundation that maybe doesn't have as much coverage in it if I want a little bit more coverage. 
and I'm just patting that onto my skin like so and it doesn't look like it's matching perfectly right now but that's okay um, once I have the rest of my makeup on like my bronzer my blush all that like it will look a lot better I'm just using a beauty blender I washed it and dampened it earlier and it still looks dirty oh my gosh this is such a good look right now <laughs> anyway I just took a little bit on the back of my hand and put it on the sponge and I'm just going to start pouncing that on my face and just blending the foundation into my skin you don't typically get as much coverage with a beauty blender but I really like the way that my foundation looks after I've used a beauty sponge so I think as long as you have a good base like if you have certain spots you want to cover up as long as you color correct or use concealer beforehand I think you can just get such a beautiful finish with a beauty sponge like look how crazy my forehead my forehead's always been so much darker than the rest of my face so it looks so weird when I put foundation up here but I promise I'm not gonna be looking crazy by the time I'm finished make so many cute faces while you're doing this you want to make sure that you blend onto your neck. I burned myself with a curling iron down here, so trying to cover that up. It's not working too well. And I'm just going to take what's left on the back of my hand and I'm just going to cover those areas that I do have a bit more trouble covering. But this covered up really, really nicely. I love the way it that combination of the foundation and the cover drops look on my skin okay so I'm finished blending all my foundation in and now I'm gonna go in with concealer I am using the Tarte shape tape concealer that has been my favorite for a good long while now I use the shade light medium honey and I'm just going to start concealing under my eyes this concealer has been the most full coverage that I've been able to find. My under eye bags are pretty bad, so it doesn't fully cover them, which is unfortunate, but it does a pretty good job. I'm using the other side of my beauty blender and I'm just going to start blending that in under my eyes. And as I'm blending this out, I'm blending back and forth where I have the most uh, under eye wrinkles increasing same on this side I really like this concealer because not only is it really full coverage it's really creamy and it's very easy to blend I'll actually use this concealer as foundation at times too like on a day where I'm not wanting to wear as much foundation or just as much makeup, I'll just throw it under my eyes and then as I'm blending it out, I just kind of blend it out over my problem areas and any spots that I need concealing and just set that with powder and I'm good to go. Okay, I think we're pretty blended. I hate how when I blend my under eye concealer, I like really scrunch up my forehead so I get all creasy there. Okay, now it is time to set my under eyes, which I have to do immediately or else I will get so crazy and it's not cute. I'm using the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. And I'm going to bake underneath my eyes. So to do that, I just dump some in the lid and I'm going to dunk my beauty blender in there and set under my eyes. This product and this method just really helps my concealer stay all day. It's like the only way that my concealer will stay all day. Oh my gosh. The stuff like when you open or close it, it just gets everywhere. But it's such a good product and it's really, really affordable too, which is nice. Okay, for setting my face, I'm going to mix two different powders. So what I'm going to use is uh, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Powder Makeup. This product has 
coverage in it and color. And then I'm mixing it with the e.l.f. HD powder in the shade Sheer. I like the finish of it. It's like really, really soft and finely milled. So what I do is I dump some in the lid. There's dog hair in there. Excuse me. There's dog hairs everywhere in my house. You cannot escape my dogs. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my e.l.f. blending brush, which is not clean, so shows you how great I am at cleaning my brushes. <laughs> and I'm going to just dunk my brush in the Estee Lauder powder, so have some on the, the brush, and then I just swirl it around in that HD powder. And, what do I care? So I got both products on my brush, and I'm just going to start pushing that into my skin. You can of course use like one or the other, but I really like using the two of them together because the Estee Lauder product gives me a little bit of coverage and color, and then the e.l.f. powder just looks really, really nice on the skin. Like, I feel like it makes the Estee Lauder powder not as, uh, like, cakey or, I don't know, it doesn't look as thick to me. And I like to set my face, especially when I'm wanting my makeup to last all day because it helps the product not to, to move at all. And of course, I'm looking like pretty matte right now. If you're not wanting to look matte, that's okay because we're gonna go in with some more like hydrating, dewy products after this. So we're not looking so matte. A lot of people like their under eye baking to go for a lot longer, but my eyes will get really dry and gross and crackly looking. So I'm going to wipe that off. And I'm just using an e.l.f. highlighting uh, brush to do so. All right, so we got a nice base so far. And now we're gonna go in with bronzer, which I absolutely love this part of it. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is in the shade Medium Deep, and I'm using the Morphe R2 brush. Um, I've been like into like super chiseled contour looks before, but lately I've just been into like a more like airbrushed, just bronzed face look. So I like using that this brush for that. And I'm just gonna dunk it in the product, top off the excess, and start on my forehead. I like to warm up the temples first, and then I take it down from there. I love the way this bronzer smells. It smells so good. I actually wanna eat chocolate. It feels so much better once I have bronzer on. I feel like my face, my forehead looks finally normal again. <laughs> and then when I do uh, my cheeks, I like to just take this brush and dunk it like on the top of it so that I can like concentrate the product a little bit more. And I'm gonna cheek it right on my cheekbone and start blending. And I like to take it up the side of my face as well. I also like taking it down my jawline as well and down my neck. I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. I just take it down the side of my nose like so. Oh, that got in my mouth and it kind of tasted good. So what I like to do after is I just take that same elf brush that I used to set my face and I'm just going to Make that look a little softer. For blush, I'm going to use the Sleek Blush in the shade Showdown. I love this blush. It's just a really nice and easy color that kind of goes with everything. So I'm just gonna dunk my blush brush in there and focus on the apples or the cheeks and blend that back into my bronzer. I just love how it warms up the face. Next, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Omrizi Collab Highlight. This is such a pretty highlight. I absolutely love this one. And because I'm extra, I'm going to take my Morphe M510 brush and I'm going to spray it just to intensify the highlight a little bit more. So I'm just using that Pixie Hydrating Mil Milky Mist again. Spraying my brush, dunking right into the product. And I'm just gonna hit the top of my cheekbones. 
with that product. Oh, that's like the prettiest highlight. I absolutely love this highlight so much. I'm also going to take it just on my fingertip and I'm going to dot it on my nose because I like a dewy looking nose. Take it down the bridge of my nose as well. And I like to do a little inner corner highlight too. Even when I'm not doing eyeshadow, I like to highlight my inner corners because I just feel like it brightens up my eyes so much. Sometimes when I do my highlight, it looks a little bit like floppy. So I'll just take my blush brush and I'll blend, like just kind of diffuse the edges of where I highlighted. I don't know. Gosh, it's like banging. I've been really into more of, how do I say it? Like a more like natural fluffy looking brow. I used to use brow pencils and I feel like they just look a little too structured. And I've just been liking like the fluffy caterpillar brow thing. So I just, I'm going to use spoolie and brush them kind of up. Just using like an angled brow brush. And I'm using the Anastasia Dark Brown Brow Powder Duo. And I'm using the darker color. I like to start like in the mid section, like at the bottom and just kind of draw out the outline of my brow. I'm just gonna continue that line underneath my brows until I get to the inner corner. Next, I'm going to start outlining the top and as you can see, I started like right here. I don't want to start like right at the end of it. And I'm just going to draw out keeping the same shape as my brows and meet that outer corner tail. And then I'm just gonna start filling them in. And with no additional product, I'm going to push up from like the bottom line that I made into the rest of the brow. I think the main thing to make sure that your brows look really natural is kind of to keep the same same shape and same like weight of hairs that you have in your brows, if that makes sense. So for example, my brows are the darkest naturally, like in the middle to the end section. So that's the most like dark area that I wanna make here. But my inner corner of my brows are a lot lighter. So I like to not focus as much product there. I'm still filling them in, but they're not like super, super dark right here. They're not the same color. You get kind of that like ombre effect. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I feel like I'm like out of breath from talking. <sighs> Why am I so out of breath? I feel like I just ran a mile. I think I'm like holding my breath because the camera is right there watching me. I'm going to just take my spoolie and brush those out. Okay, before I put on bottom lash mascara and brow gel, I'm going to spray my face. The reason that I do this, a lot of people will put on mascara and brow gel and then spray their face, but whenever I do that, I get like mascara spots under my eyes. So I just figure it's easier to do it this way. This is just gonna set my foundation so it lasts the rest of the day and it really helps the powders and the liquids just kind of melt together and my foundation's gonna look a lot more dewy and a lot less powdery once I do this. I always go overboard. My face is like, I dumped it in some water after I do this. But it feels so good and I just love the way that it dries down. And I'm going to set my brows using the Anastasia Brow Gel, which the words have completely, completely worn off. And I'm just going to push my brows up so they are looking a little bit more fluffy. I love the way that looks like when it's just like a fluffy caterpillar situation. It's so funny that like super thin brows were in like fifth grade through high school and then all of a sudden everyone was like, we want big brows again, which is what I always had until I plucked them away. But thankfully they grew back, okay. And I realized that I forgot to fill in my freckles. I have like 
four or five freckles that I really like on my face. So I just like to go in with that same brow powder and I just use like the corner tip area of my brush and I'm just gonna dot on top of those so you can see them a little bit better. Let me find them on my face first. There, there. And then I have one right here. One right here. And then I also have one right here that's like covered by a pimple somehow right now, which is so cute. I'm obsessed with freckles. I wish I had more on my face. I think they're so cute. I'm going to use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. This is my favorite mascara for my bottom lashes. I hate the faces that I have to make when I'm putting on mascara. I forgot to mention the fact that I have eyelash extensions on my top lashes. I have been getting lash extensions for over a year now, and I absolutely love them. I'm just brushing them out with a spoolie brush. They're actually kind of thin right now. I'm scheduled to get a fill this week. I just like them because we do photo shoots quite a bit and I don't have to worry about putting on mascara or putting on false lashes. They're super convenient. I like waking up and they're like alive and ready to go for the day. <laughs> My lash girl is amazing. Her name is Angela and I will link her below if you are curious and in the Tucson area and you want to check her out. She's awesome. For my lips, this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. This is my all-time favorite lip color. I wish I could get it in like all forms, like a liquid lip. I wish I could have it in a gloss. It's such a pretty brown color. It's so easy to wear too. Like Soft Matte is such a good description for it because it's not like overly mattifying where like it doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick where your lips are like sucked in but it still like lasts a pretty good long while and they're super cheap they're like six dollars so affordable okay and this is the final look i'm going to take my messy hair down and i will be right back and here you have the final look what do you guys think it's like nothing special obviously i didn't do any eyeshadow any eyeliner or anything i wanted to focus mainly on the face today just to show you guys kind of my go-to full coverage foundation look this is the kind of thing that i will do if i'm having like a long shooting day or if we're going out for the entire day and I know I'm going to have makeup on from the morning till the very end of the night, it lasts through the night really, really well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And please leave a comment if you've used some of these products before, what you think about them, or if you have any new products that you're absolutely loving and you'd love to share with me and my other subscribers, that would be awesome. And be sure to let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see from me. I'm totally open to suggestions. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you on the next video. Bye.